Hello. Hello. Guess what? What? I'm doing a weight loss shopping haul for ya. Whoa. <laughs> so, so first, I just want to say, Kyle and I have been doing leaner by the day, if you guys have been following along, and we have lost about 13 pounds each and about 5% body fat. So, obviously, my clothes are too big and I need to get I needed to get a bunch of clothes for spring and summer. So I thought I would share with you guys the progress and the new clothes that I bought. The best thing about these clothes, one, they're budget friendly, two, they come in all sizes, and three, I'm curvy. So they fit curvy body types, but they will also fit any body type. When you buy clothes, I, I've, been, I've struggled with this for years. Don't sell yourself short. For years, because I've been overweight my whole life, and this applies to Kyle too, we sort of like buy clothes that were safe because we were always overweight. So we used to buy like baggy clothes, or for me, no offense to the older ladies that watch us, but I would buy grandma clothes. Meaning clothes that were way too old for me and Kyle termed them my grandma clothes because I would buy them thinking that I wasn't good enough to wear clothes for my age. I would wear baggier clothes or settle for clothes just because I thought they were, they were safe and they hid my loose skin, which I was very embarrassed of. So today, I'm not wearing any shapewear or anything underneath my clothes, so you're probably gonna see my loose skin sometimes, and even though that's sort of uncomfortable for me, I wanted you guys to see that it's okay to accept your body for where it is. I would go to the store and I would go, okay, I need to buy a bunch of clothes. I would try one on, might be in between sizes, so one size, medium would be too small and a large would be too big. So I would buy one or the other and just settle and either be pulling at my tight clothes or look silly in my baggy clothes because they, I needed clothes and I would just settle instead of waiting until the thing that came along that made me feel like a million bucks. So this time when I went into the stores, I said, I'm, I don't care if it's a $5 t-shirt that I buy, I'm gonna feel like a million bucks in it. And if I don't, I'm not gonna buy it this time. I'm not settling, I'm gonna buy clothes that I feel good in that aren't grandma, but are still appropriate, you know, for work or to, you know, to go out or whatever. They're gonna be appropriate for each event. They're not gonna be grandma clothes. And I just want you guys to know that I'm sure you guys struggle with that too. Don't settle, don't buy the safe clothes, buy the clothes that make you feel good. If you need a lot of clothes, but you go out and you only find one thing because you're not settling, then that thing is gonna make you feel so good. It doesn't matter. You can pick up pieces as you go. Don't settle. M feel special in your clothes because you deserve to, no matter what body shape you are. If you're plus size, if you're curvy, if you're super skinny, it doesn't matter. If you're a grandma. If you're a grandma. Feel good in your clothes. If you like grandma clothes, wear grandma clothes, but feel good in them. And you know what? When you don't sell yourself short, when you go, now I know that's not gonna fit me properly, so I'm not even gonna try it on, or you start to try it on, like I would pull on pants and feel that they were too small, but I'd pull them on anyway and take that whole time to pull them on and then struggle to get them off. This time I pulled one leg on, eh, no, that's not gonna fit. Done, not getting them. Instead of putting it on going, well I could kind of do this, or I could fold this or do this. No, don't make exceptions for your clothing. If it doesn't fit you right, take it off and put it on the no rack, because you're worth it. So, hope that inspires you to not do what I do and I waste time. I saved so much time when I went shopping this time because I was like, nope, nope, not good enough. Nope, doesn't fit right. So yeah, be special. First, 
piece of clothing is from Old Navy. And again, like you can get all these sizes in plus sizes or like zeros or, you know, for every shape they are. So this is a dress that is appropriate for anywhere, work, special occasion, summer, whatever you want. And like I said, I'm not wearing any shapewear, so you are gonna see my loose skin here. Um, for some weird reason, it doesn't have the price on the tag. I saved all the prices so you guys could see, but I, it was around $30. And what I love is because I'm short, most long dresses are way too long for me and I trip on them. This dress is the perfect length. I look, I can do stuff and I don't trip. <laughs> so, and I really like that it has that slit there that gives you a little more room for walking, a little more comfortable, and it's really comfortable. And I like that it skims my loose skin and my curves, but it doesn't make my loose skin look bad or that, you know, little bit of belly fat that I have left, it doesn't make that stuff look bad. It actually flatters my body. So I really liked that. I also like that it's a bit higher. So if you need to wear it to a professional situation, you look nice and professional. Huh. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. It's a swing dress, also from Old Navy, and it was thirty dollars. And what? That's Canadian too, so it'll be a little cheaper in the states. A little cheaper for the the American friends. But what I like about the swing dresses is if you are embarrassed of your loose skin, you can't see it. See that? Cause it hides it. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go swinging. I'm Beetlejuicing in. <laughs> like what Beetlejuice does in the Beetlejuice movie. I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember. I've seen that movie lots and that never happened in the movie. You know, like when he goes to that weird bar with the girls and his model and he does that? Uh, yeah. I'll have to rewatch it. <laughs> These are from H&M. The top is $7 and the, or was $7 and the pants were 20 And again, like, what I really like about these pants is that they're loose here so they skim my loose skin. So it actually like flatters this area instead of like pointing out my loose skin. And again, because I'm short, I like where the pants fall because I don't trip over them. Whereas most of the wide leg pants that are out right now, I, I trip over because I'm, I'm a shorty. Uh, do you know how much those were? I said already. No, you didn't. Tell them, I already said, the pants were 20 and the shirt was seven. And where, Hello? And where did you get these I again? I already told the friends. What's the store called? It's called H&M. Hmm. <laughs> you get my joke, hmm? Yeah, I get when it. When I seen that outfit at H&M, I said, hmm. I'm gonna spit bomb. <laughs> oh God. This is also from H&M and it was $17. Now, I also, when I went shopping, wanted to buy things that were out of my comfort zone and I never would have bought a dress cut like this or that was yellow because, I don't know, in my head, yellow was not good for me. <laughs> so I purposely bought a yellow dress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the back. Back in black. Okay, so I did say that the clothes were budget friendly, but there are two items that I splurged on because, on purpose, because I normally don't buy clothes that are more than $30 a piece because I don't think that I'm worth it. So I purposely bought this. It was $60 from a store called Dynamite. It's a jumpsuit, and that's another reason why I bought it because I always said to myself that only fitness models wear these jumpsuits because only they can look good in them. So I said, guess what? You're getting it. And I did. I think you and look great in that. Thanks. I actually, it feels really comfortable and it fit me really good. And I like that, again, like it's a good length for a shorty. <laughs> and I, I thought it was pretty cute, like the back and everything. 
and it's definitely something that I have to work at being comfortable in. So it met everything. It checked all my boxes. Yeah. So I bought another jumpsuit also from Dynamite, also $60. And I want to tell you that the jumpsuits I bought and the romper that you'll see in a couple of minutes are all a large because um, the medium fits really good except in this area, in like the, the, sorry ladies, in the crotch area, it was really tight. So I got a large so that I felt like I had more room there. Um, otherwise, it could have fit in a medium, just in case you guys are wondering size-wise if you're around similar sizing to me. Everything else that you see is a medium. Um, I also bought this jumpsuit because it ties up in the back and it shows a lot of my back and I'm always really self-conscious about that. So that is why I bought this one. Get it out of the comfort zone, get it out. <laughs> so this is the romper I was talking about. It's in a large. This is from Old Navy and it was $35 and a medium fit really good except again like it was tight just in this area so I got it in a large so that I could be more comfortable. It's um, it's really comfortable and I got, got the short one specifically because I feel really uncomfortable wearing shorts. I have a lot of loose skin in my upper thigh area and when you walk in shorts you know the drill. They creep up and they show all that weird loose skin I have and I feel really uncomfortable. What I like about this is that it's a bit longer and because it, it's a bit looser when you walk it doesn't quite do that risey uppy thing as much so I feel pretty comfortable in this. It hides that loose skin on my thighs area and stuff and because of the way it's cut anyone could wear it and I think it would flatter all body sizes pretty much all the clothes like I said are would flatter any body type and any height too because I always have problems being short everything's either too long or way too short if I get the petite how long have you had that short problem <laughs> your whole life <laughs> Let's uh, see a turnaround. Bonded. I was bonded short. Man. Yeah, cute. Nice. And now we're on to the finale. Okay, this is the last outfit. The whole outfit is from Dynamite. The pants were 36 and the top was 22. I really like them again because there's cuffs on the bottom of the pants so they're not too long for me and I like that it does have some pockets I also like the high waist because of my loose skin and I like the fact that it skims over my loose skin like that and I also don't like tucking my shirts into my pants specifically because of my loose skin and I still have a little bit of belly fat left that I'm trying to get rid of so um that's why I bought this top because it's and the pants because the top has to tuck in so that the pants look right. Um, so and this top is a bit fitted and that always makes me uncomfortable. I always like pull the fitted stuff away so I specifically bought that to challenge myself. And so this is what it looks like. And it's actually this outfit is really comfortable. And you can wear it with heels or sandals or running shoes, whatever your little heart desires. So, the friends, the moral of this video. First, I hope you enjoyed the fashion and the clothes and inspired you to check them out. But, like what you wear and feel good in it. Because I've spent, and Kyle has done the same thing, we've spent years wearing clothes that we don't actually like or feel comfortable in just that we feel safe in. So challenge yourself, one, to get out of your comfort zone because it feels good when you do it. And buy things that you like. Who cares if it takes you three or four shopping trips to find something that you like? Feel good in your clothes. And don't sell yourself short and don't think that you're not good enough to spend money on. 
you know, you can buy it within reason and splurge if you want to, but buy things that you like and buy them because you feel good in them and because you're worth it. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> don't forget to follow us on Instagram at the Colette's. If you don't, I don't know what is your problem. <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? All right. Because if you don't, uh oh. The fancy pants of doom. <laughs> I had no idea where you were going with that. I don't think you did either. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. That was scary. Thanks for watching. See ya.